Does your body need some work? At Morton Collision Center, our comprehensive professional auto repair services will restore your vehicle to its pre-accident condition quickly and affordably. Expert collision repair, undetectable color matching, free estimates, all insurance claims welcome. Towing from the wreck with your request. Let the friendly staff at Morton Collision Center help you by dealing with the insurance company directly. Call 385-1048. That's 385-1048. We guarantee all of our work. Morton Collision Center. And then a Lonky Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, the most new cars means fresh trade-ins every day. And the Walker Jones Mega Center picks only the very best, runs them through our vigorous inspection and repair, then sells to you at tremendous prices. Most even qualify for our lifetime warranty. Walker Jones Used Car Mega Center, Memorial Drive in Waycross. Get the best. Local news on WIFO. It's time now for local latest in local news. In the news, the Wayne County Tax Commissioner's Office will be closed from Thursday afternoon, May 23rd at 3 p.m. until Tuesday morning, May 28th at 10 a.m. This closure is required by the Georgia Motor Vehicles Division of the Georgia Department of Revenue in order to change software systems. No one in the state of Georgia will be able to, <clears throat> but will be able to renew or title a vehicle during this time frame. It's recommended that anyone with a birthday in May or June renew before May 23rd. As the state has publicized this transition, they will not be granting any penalty relief for persons who have a birthday between May 23rd and May 27th. Tax officers' office will be open for business as usual. However, customers will need to enter their office through the door to the left of the main entrance. Once again, the office will be closed from Thursday afternoon, May 23rd at 3 p.m. until Tuesday morning, May 28th at 10 a.m. Local Wayne County Democratic Party <clears throat> is hosting the first district congressional meeting this Saturday, May 18th, at the Scriven Community Center at 1 p.m. Scriven Community Center is located at 501 Bill Royal Street. Lisa Ring, the Democratic candidate for the House of Representatives in 2018, will chair the meeting. Guest speaker will be Teresa Tomlinson, who has announced that she's running for Senate seat in 2020. Ms. Tomlinson was elected mayor of Columbus in 2010, served through 2018. She was the 69th mayor of Columbus and the first woman to be honored with that position. Once again, the Democratic Committee having their first district congressional meeting Saturday, May 18th at 1 p.m. at the Scriven Community Center, located at 501 Bill Royal Street. Local Judge Vi Bennett currently attending the spring conference this week in Atlanta of the Council of State Court Judges, where she's been elected to serve as treasurer. She'll begin the progression towards becoming president. Vi Bennett will serve as treasurer for one year, then progress to secretary, president-elect, and then president. Vi Bennett serves as state court judge here in Wayne County. She says this will not interfere with her responsibility to the citizens of Wayne County. Bennett says she's excited about the new opportunity to serve on the state level, which she says will be able to provide opportunities that will benefit Wayne County citizens. Once again, Vi Bennett elected to serve as treasurer of the Council of State Court Judges in Atlanta. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. The Trademark at 3689 Savannah Highway has been serving Wayne County and surrounding counties for over 30 years. If it's a small hand tool you're looking for or a 30-ton bearing press, we've got it. You need a tarp? We've got you covered. We have any size you need, from a 5x7 to a 30x60. So if you need a quality tool at an affordable price, come see us at the Trademark, 3689 Savannah Highway, or call us at 427-6966. That's 427-6966. The Trademark, the tool supply place. And then a Lonky Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, the most new cars means fresh trade-ins every day. And the Walker Jones Mega Center picks only the very best, runs them through our vigorous inspection and repair, then sells to you at tremendous prices. Most even qualify for our lifetime warranty. Walker Jones Used Car Mega Center, Memorial Drive in Waycross. Get the best. Do you want to live a pain-free life? To finally bend over or reach above your head without pain? Do you have difficulty walking? Or have you injured yourself playing sports? 
At Smart Physical Therapy, we believe everyone deserves a life without pain. We are dedicated to serving our patients by addressing your specific needs as a person. Call Smart Physical Therapy today where we have a dedicated staff that utilizes the most advanced and current techniques in physical therapy to reduce your pain and improve your function. Call Smart Physical Therapy and speak to Garrett Pye, Clayton Connors, or Nick Child today. The therapists at Smart Physical Therapy are dedicated to committing one-on-one time with you and addressing your goals. Here at SMART, we would like to thank Wayne County for being voted Wayne's favorite. Contact SMART Physical Therapy to get scheduled today. We're located at 360 Peachtree Street across from Dr. Hendricks and Dr. Harris's office. The number to reach SMART Physical Therapy, 559-2071, 559-2071. Again, 559-2071. Wayne County Board of Education met Tuesday at the Tech Center. First meeting at 5 p.m. to discuss the budget and then the regular scheduled work session at 6 where the board approved the fiscal year tentative 20 budget in hopes of approving the budget at their next regular scheduled meeting. For more on the budget and the track which the board continues to discuss, we talked with School Superintendent Jay Brinson. Excited and we appreciate the governor and all legislators' support. Uh, you know, in the session this, this go around, $3,000 will go a long way for our, our teachers and, you know, and everyone else's uh, classified employees are getting a 2% raise and, and there was a lot of discussion tonight uh you know what we're still working on a plan to increase all of our bus drivers compensation too to try to you know recruit and retain those those bus drivers that have been with us for so long so just uh, a lot of good progress tonight we did we're able to set a tentative budget so things are on on a point to get it approved that by the end of the month and the track project, I understand they're going to rebid the project. Explain that. Yeah, you know, we had an original bid to put it at uh, the high school, kind of, uh, we call it on the back part. Um, you know, we've, we've researched it and uh, we feel like we really want to move it to the front. Um, the problem with that is if you're putting it on the front, it kind of get in, it gets in the wetlands. And so we explored some other issues, met with uh, uh, the architect and, and coach. Uh, Ward as well as Mr. Mack and sat in on those meetings and you know so we come back here tonight and they've decided that they do want it on that front part so we have to rebid it we've never gotten a bid to put it on that particular place and that's just how the process works when you're dealing with state and state and federal funds. So what kind of timeline are we looking for to track it? Like keeps asking when will the track be here? It, 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 there'll be a delay until it, we have to get that permit. There's a wetlands area out there, you know, that little pond area, and putting it in that particular place that the board has chosen, we just got to go through the process. It's not that it's not going to be, be approved, uh, but that does take time. But I still think I'm very confident we'll still have it in place by the beginning of next track season. Okay, appreciate it. All right, thanks, Bob. And those comments, School Superintendent Jay Brinson. The board discussed the track at length at both meetings, voting to rebid the project once again. But again, they still hope to have the track in place by the beginning of the track season next year. Board approved the parent student handbooks for elementary, middle, and high school students at the board meeting. Also announced that there's three new AP classes being offered this year at the high school. Board also approved funding. <clears throat> the board approved funding for students to attend national competition in both HOSA and FBLA. Again, they're going to compete on the national level. The board recognized both Jonathan Cooksey and Aiden Jones, seventh graders who have taken either the ACT or SAT in the Duke Talent Search Program. That program has been in existence for 39 years, geared towards 7th grade students across the country. Wayne County Commissioners are expected to have a call meeting tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. They stated they would have one at their regular monthly board meeting. Several items on their agenda they still want more time to digest and discuss at length, so they've set up this call meeting. One item that's been tabled, which is interesting, is a resolution to amend the budget, something that seems routine. But for the second monthly meeting, it has been tabled with several commissioners stating on the record that there are several questions that they have asked questions about, but they've not gotten answers to. On Monday, it was Chairman Herschel Harris who asked that the item be tabled and discussed at the called meeting, which again is supposedly set for tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. At the April meeting, both commissioners Ralph Hickox and Kevin McCrary stated on the record that they had several questions about the amended budget that they wanted answers to. <clears throat> so again, the amended budget has been tabled not once but twice. And is set forth to call meeting tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Second item on the commissioner's agenda is the contract for J.C. Landing, seeking an operator for the landing in the bait shop. Originally, five operators submitted bids months ago, and the commissioners narrowed the choice to two, one local and one from outside the county. Local operator won out on the bid, and that's Ralph Trapner and Mike Gordon. Both were on hand Monday looking to work out the contract that both sides can agree upon. Ralph Trapner said on Monday that if they're going to spend a lot of money and time Improving the site, they'd like more than a one-year deal. The county attorney, Andy Beaver, says the county cannot enter into but a one-year contract. He says it can be renewed annually, but the law dictates just a one-year contract. 
in several issues with the contract between the two parties. So again, the issue was tabled from the Monday night regular meeting and put on the call agenda for Friday morning. Again, the meeting's expected to be called tomorrow at 9 a.m. Still haven't seen the agenda yet, but again, at their monthly meeting, they all stated they wanted to call meeting set for this Friday at 9 a.m. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. The Trademark at 3689 Savannah Highway has been serving Wayne County and surrounding counties for over 30 years. If it's a small hand tool you're looking for or a 30-ton bearing press, we've got it. You need a tarp? We've got you covered. We have any size you need, from a 5x7 to a 30x60. So if you need a quality tool at an affordable price, come see us at the Trademark, 3689 Savannah Highway, or call us at 427-6966. That's 427-6966. The trademark, the tool supply place. And then a Lockheed Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, the most new cars means fresh trade ins every day. And the Walker Jones Mega Center picks only the very best, runs them through our vigorous inspection and repair, then sells to you at tremendous prices. Most even qualify for our lifetime warranty. Walker Jones Used Car Mega Center, Memorial Drive in Waycross. Get the best. The Wayne County Chamber of Commerce and Partners Risk Services invites you to Lunch and Learn Tuesday, May 21st at the Jessup Train Depot from 1130 until 1. Melanie Harris will share four simple steps to energize your workday, followed by Sandy Silva demonstrating a 10-minute at-your-desk workout. $15 for chamber members, $20 for guests. Lunch will be provided. 912-427-2028 to register for the health and fitness for the busy professional Lunch and Learn Tuesday, May 21st at the Jessup Train Depot from 1130 until 1. Seasons change. Quality of service doesn't. For 75 years, First Franklin Financial has been serving the financial needs of your friends and neighbors. You can always depend on the caring staff to be there when you need them. Drop by and see your friendly Franklin folks at 1074 North Macon Street or give them a call at 427-4237 or apply online at 1FFC.com. All loans are subject to our liberal credit policy and limitations, if any. First Franklin Financial Corporation, NMLSR number 141654. Georgia Residential Mortgage License number 5656. Final notes and news. Prime South Bank hosting a breakfast with characters this Saturday beginning at 10 a.m. at the Joseph Train Depot. All kids are invited to come and have their picture taken with the characters. Also get their autographs. Cinderella and Belle, Mickey and Minnie Mouse, Woody and Buzz Lightyear, and Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz, Bob the Builder. All these characters and more on hand this Saturday at the Prime South Bank event. Again, at the Jessup Train Depot. Cost is $10. Tickets can be purchased this week at the Prime South Bank <clears throat> here in Jessup. <clears throat> Excuse me. Once again, Saturday morning, beginning at 10 a.m., breakfast will be provided. Come one, come all this Saturday. Meet the characters. Have a great time. Comores Company, Southern Ironics Minerals, inviting the Jessup plant open, inviting the public to the Jessup plant open house. It's going to take place Monday, May 20th from 5 to 8 p.m., Refreshments will be served from 5 to 6. Former program at 6. It takes place at the barn of the Live Oak Ranch, 10608 Lanesbridge Road in Jessup. Again, if you need more information, call 912-415-8080. But again, that open house is set for this coming Monday, May the 20th. The Wayne County Catfish Tournament dates are set for June 1st and 2nd. The river is ready. It's time to fish in the Wayne County Board of Tourism annual Wayne County Catfish event. Set for June 1st and 2nd. Tournament begins Saturday at 12 noon, continues until Sunday at 2 p.m. Weigh in and tournament headquarters once again at JC Fairgrounds at JC Landing. For all the information, call the Tourism Board Office at 427 3233 or check out the event website at wayntourism.com. Once again, the dates of the Wayne County Catfish Tournament is set for June 1st and 2nd. That's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan saying have a great day. You've been listening to local news on WIFO. For all your medical needs, Tim's Home Medical on South 1st Street in Jessup has you covered. Oxygen, CPAP equipment, wheelchairs, walkers, hospital beds, plus specialty medical equipment from a local company that cares. Tim's Home Medical can handle Medicare, Medicaid, and private insurance billing, as well as family records for tax purposes. Tim's Home Medical, owned and operated by Tim Sloan, 918 South 1st Street in Jessup. Tim's Home Medical. Call 385-2490, 385-2490. 
When further treatment is no longer an option, hospice can provide services to manage symptoms and difficulties caused by illness. Emotional, psychosocial, and spiritual care, as well as support to the families and caregivers, are all part of hospice care. Hospice of South Georgia has been a part of the health community in Wayne and surrounding counties since 1998. The professional yet compassionate attention provided by our staff is unsurpassed. Widely supported by donations from the local population, Hospice of South Georgia is the local nonprofit hospice in Wayne County. Our administrative office is located at 1625 Sunset Boulevard, and Hospice of South Georgia accepts anyone who meets hospice criteria, regardless of their ability to pay. Please call 912-588-0080 to speak with someone about hospice care. That was 912-588-0080. We are your hometown hospice, and we are here to serve you. Hospice of South Georgia, working to add life to your days. Do you need a new lawnmower? If so, head to Night Saw Company in Baxley. Choose from a large selection of name brand mowers. Night Saw Company offers the best lawnmowers at the best prices anywhere. They also have in stock belts, batteries, and parts for all mowers, along with name brand trimmers, blowers, and hedge trimmers. For over 50 years, Wayne Countyans have been getting their power lawn equipment and parts from Knights. Night Saw Company on the Jessup side of Baxley on Highway 341. Murphy's Builder Supply is where you need to go for all your home improvement projects and hardware needs. They've been serving folks in this area since 1946. Murphy's offers some products and services that you may not know about. They now sell ammunition, both bullets and shells. Murphy's also sells personalized tags for dog collars. They build customized screens for windows and doors. Murphy's can rekey locks, and of course they can make keys. They cut glass for windows, plus Murphy's has monthly door buster specials. Check their Facebook page to see what's on sale. Murphy's Builder Supply, 156 Northeast Broad Street, Jessup. Hi, good morning. Mostly sunny for today. Southwest breeze 5 to 10, highs upper 80s. We'll be partly cloudy mid 60s for tonight. Mostly sunny upper 80s for tomorrow. Upper 60s tomorrow night. Saturday, Sunday look great. Sunshine getting hot. High of 90 on Saturday. And Sunday, sunshine highs in the low 90s. Then Monday, mostly sunny, high of 90. Georgia meteorologist John Weatherby in the GNN Weather Center. Here's your menu in the Wayne County School System for Thursday, May 16. Lunch. Lunch menu. Elementary and middle school breakfast, breakfast, pizza, and mini donuts. Elementary and middle school lunch is barbecue sandwich with tater tots. High school pizza crunchers or old school pizza plus the pizza line every day. Lunch menu brought to you by First Franklin Financial in the shopping center between Walmart and Goodwill. Lunch menu. WIFOFM, Big Dog Country. It's time to check your birthdays and anniversaries. Brought to you today by Bargain Power Sports. Happy birthday wishes today going out to Mary Brooks. Mary Brooks celebrating. Savannah Curtis. Savannah Curtis. Clements Helber. Clements Helber. Kristen Kennedy. Kristen Kennedy celebrating. Happy birthday, Pamela Mincy. Pamela Mincy. Elton Palmer as well. Elton Palmer. Shirley Sebastian. Birthday wishes Shirley Sebastian. Tim Sutton. Tim Sutton. And Mike Wilson. Mike Wilson. Happy birthday from the Robin Eubank State Farm Gang. Happy 7th birthday, Mia Ziegler. Love Paisley. Mia Ziegler. 7. Love Paisley. Also wishes for Mia Ziegler, seven, from Mama, Baby, and Daddy. We love you. Mia Ziegler, seven years old today. Mia Ziegler, seven. Please wish Pam Mincy and Kristen Kennedy happy birthday today from your Oakwin Baptist Church family. For Pam Mincy and Kristen Kennedy, happy birthday from your Oakwin Baptist Church family today. Lance Vickery celebrating. Happy 16th birthday from Mom and Dad. We are so proud of you, Lance Vickery, celebrating today. Lance Vickery is 16 today. Tanya McCarty also celebrating today. We want to wish a very happy birthday to Tanya McCarty. We hope your day is as amazing as you are. With lots of love from Venus, Jeff, Clay, Zach, and Cadence. Wishing Tanya McCarty happy birthday. Big dog birthday book this morning. Kaylin Harris won. Kaylin Harris is one year old from Mama, Daddy, Kennedy, Kensley, and Kanaja. Wishing Kaylin Harris. Kaylin Harris happy first birthday today. Long County Calendar on the 16th. That would be Becky Chambliss. Happy birthday, Becky Chambliss. Becky Chambliss on the Long County Calendar this morning. On to Textosos at 912-427-3711 this morning. 
Happy 13th birthday to Kaylee Popple. We love you from Mom, Dad, and Chloe for Kaylee Popple today. Kaylee Popple, 13, from Mom, Dad, and Chloe today. Happy 7th birthday, Mia Ziegler from Amanda, Andrew, and Hampton. We love you, Mia Ziegler, 7, from Amanda, Andrew, and Hampton with love this morning. I would like to wish second happy birthday to... Isabel Wall, Isabel Wall, second birthday wishes today. Today. Look at that. Boy, that text is really small. Isabel Wall, happy second birthday this morning. All right. More text dosos at 912 427 3711. You've got time to shoot winning via text right now, as a matter of fact. Uh, we did Chloe Popple. Happy birthday, Bailey Banks. Bailey Banks. Love Carol and Graham for Bailey Banks from Carol and Graham. Bailey Banks. Happy birthday, Trenton Pruitt, 11 today. Trenton Pruitt, 11. Love Aunt Sissy and all your cousins. Trenton Pruitt is 11. Also from the family for Trenton Pruitt, we love you and hope you have a great day. Want to wish Ronald Thompson happy birthday. We love you from your family. Ronald Thompson from the family. Happy birthday to my sister, Tanya Carter McCarty. I hope you have a wonderful day. Love you, Jan. Tanya Carter McCarty with love from Jan today. Okay, we did Kaylin Harris. That was yesterday. All right, 912 427 3711. Birthdays, anniversaries on WIFO. As always, brought to you by Barger Power Sports. You've got time to shoot one in right now via text at 912 427 3711. Famous birthdays today actor Pierce Brosnan is 66. Remington Steele, an unidentified woman. That's you. Rescue rare gems. Actor Henry Fonda was born in 1905. I've been working in films for 46 years. I feel I'm a very, very lucky man. And Harry Carey was born on this date in 1921. Hi! Let me ask, what's your favorite planet? Well... Uh, Mine's the sun. And I like it because it's like the king of planets. Actually, Harry, it's not a, not a planet, it's a star. Well, planet or star, when that thing burns out, we're all going to be dead. More wishes for Trenton Pruitt. Happy birthday from your family. We love you and hope you have a great day. Trenton Pruitt is 11 today. And also, happy birthday, Mia Ziegler from Scriven, Georgia, from Mia Ziegler this morning. All right, we'll come back with your big dog country birthday cake winner on WIFOFM. We will do that right after this for Bargeron Power Sports. And I got it backwards. Your birthday cake winner this morning, Trenton Pruitt. Trenton Pruitt is 11 years old and picks up the cake from the Jessup Piggly Wiggly Bakery. That certificate is here at the station. You come by, you pick that up. It's good for today only. Head to the big and claim your prize. Bargeron Power Sports. Brunswick with Jessup Online. BargeronPowerSports.com. Wishing a Trenton... Ziegler, uh, uh, Trenton Pruitt. Trenton Pruitt is 11 and the Big Dog Country birthday cake winner on this Thursday morning. Thank you for waking up at WIFOFM Big Dog Country here in Jessup on this Thursday morning. Bob will check local sports. We'll have state news from GNN, a look at the weather forecast, and so much more on a Thursday morning here at the Big Dog WIFOFM. Bargeman Power Sports invites everyone to come visit their unbelievable new showroom on Highway 301 South in Jessup and on Highway 341 in Brunswick. They have a great selection of ATVs, golf carts, mowers, and more. Bargeman Power Sports carries Arctic Cat four-wheelers and side-by-sides, the new popular Canyon four-wheelers and side-by-sides, cruise carts, and Yamaha golf carts. Bargeman's has the full line of Kimco scooters. Don't forget, Bargeman Power Sports offers a complete service department for all your service and repair needs. Stop by today and check out Bargeman Power Sports, Highway 301 South in Jessup, and their new location on Highway 341 next to I-95 in Brunswick. Happy birthday. Trenton Pruitt is 11 and picks up the cake from the Jessup Piggly Wiggly Bakery. Here's your menu in the Wayne County School System for Thursday, May 16. Lunch. Lunch menu. Elementary and middle school breakfast, breakfast, pizza, and mini donuts. Elementary and middle school lunch is barbecue sandwich with tater tots. High school pizza crunchers or old school pizza plus the pizza line every day. Lunch menu brought to you by First Franklin Financial in the shopping center between Walmart and Goodwill. Lunch menu. Let's check your GNN Weather Center forecast on WIFOFM. It's brought to you this morning by First Southern Bank, investing in you since 1907. When it comes to growing a family business, we understand the business of growing. 
At First Southern Bank, we've been meeting the needs of South Georgia farmers for over 100 years. With competitive ag loan rates, including equipment loans, farmland loans, and lines of credit, First Southern Bank has all the banking tools you need to help keep your growing business growing. First Southern Bank, investing in you since 1907. For loan rates and more, visit FirstSouthernGA.com. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hi, good morning. Mostly sunny for today. Southwest breeze 5 to 10, highs upper 80s. We'll be partly cloudy mid-60s for tonight. Mostly sunny upper 80s for tomorrow. Upper 60s tomorrow night. Saturday, Sunday look great. Sunshine getting hot. High of 90 on Saturday. And Sunday, sunshine highs in the low 90s. Then Monday, mostly sunny, high of 90. Georgia meteorologist John Weatherby in the GNN Weather Center. River level 7.5 feet uh, rising, 7.5 and rising river level. We've got a low tide this afternoon at 103, high this evening, 7.15, 7.8 feet, sunset at 8.18. Temperatures upper 50s, 58, 5.8 here at the Big Dog WIFO. That is your GNN Weather Center forecast on FM 105.5. Brought to you this time by First Southern Bank, that investing in you since 1907. At 730, uh, 7.40, uh, actually a 7.30 for Boy, all of a sudden, just you make one little bump in the road and everything goes downhill real quickly. 739, good morning for the Big Dog WIFO. Let's check in with state news from GNN. It's brought to you this morning by England's Mobile Glass and England's Collision Center. You can take your horse down to England's Collision Center and Mobile Glass. We've been serving Wayne County for over 20 years. We want to help you get the best prices and the best results. England's can help you with all your customizations, auto glass, collision repairs, and much more. We've been standing by our customers for over 20 years, so come on down to England's Collision Center and Mobile Glass. We're located on this Old Town Road at 586 Southwest Broad Street in Jessup, or just call us at 912-588-9922. I'm Matt Cook with the Georgia News Network. Governor Kemp is asking Georgia Insurance Commissioner Jim Beck to resign after his indictment this week on federal charges. Kemp sent a letter to Beck yesterday after a number of Democrats and Republicans in the state had already said that the 57-year-old should resign his post. Beck was arraigned yesterday on the 38-count indictment. He pled not guilty to the charges, and the judge said a $25,000 secured bond. U.S. Attorney B.J. Pack. I wanted the public to know that we take these allegations very seriously, uh, not just because of who he is, but the power of his office. Beck is accused of embezzling some $2 million from the Georgia Underwriters Association while he worked for the organization over the last few years. Visitation and funeral services will get underway over the next few days for a Savannah police officer killed in the line of duty. The visitation for Sergeant Kelvin Ansari will be held on Thursday and Friday between 2 and 9 o'clock at Campbell and Sons Funeral Home. The homegoing service will be held at 11 a.m. on Saturday at Calvary Baptist Temple. There's going to be a brief visitation held at the church between 9 and 10 o'clock that morning. Now, after the service, a motorcade will head to Bonaventure Cemetery. Mike Moore, GNN News. Three people in Jones County have been indicted on insurance fraud charges. Prosecutors tell WMAZ that it started with a home that burned down in the county back in July of last year. They say those indicted include the woman who owned the house and a couple renting it from her. It has been 31 years since 8-year-old Josh Harmon was found beaten and strangled to death in the woods near his apartment complex in Roswell. And police are looking for new information now in hopes of pinning down a suspect in the case. The boy's body was found covered in dirt, pine tree, and logs. They're looking for possible witnesses or people who just might have some information. I'm Matt Cook, GNN News. May is all about Silverado and Walker Jones Chevrolet. With all new 2018 Chevy Silverado 1500 sold at GM employee prices. And you keep all the rebates. Total discounts up to 13 grand or choose 0% for 72 months. Or how about a 2019 Silverado Crew Cab 1500 LT or RST with discounts up to 9 grand or 0% for 72. Find new roads at Walker Jones Chevy. Some restrictions apply. See dealer for details. Ends 531.19. Good morning from WIFOFM, Big Dog Country at uh, 742. Uh, let's zoom in on the Sports Cave webcast. All right, looks like Bob's putting the finishing touches on sports this morning. Headed your way right after the Family Minute with Mark Merrill, brought to you today by Wayne Obstetrics and Gynecology. 
Dr. Harris and the staff of Wayne Obstetrics and Gynecology want to wish the Wayne County Yellow Jackets the best this season. Dr. Jeffrey Harris offers comprehensive care for women in Jessup, Wayne County, and the neighboring areas. He is board certified in obstetrics, gynecology, and family practice. Dr. Harris offers health care to women in any stage of life. Call them at 530-7301. That's 530-7301. Go Jackets. Men, are you losing the battle against sexual temptation? I'm Mark Merrill with today's Family Minute. We're constantly being bombarded by sexual images in movies, magazines, television. The list goes on and on. And unfortunately, these seemingly small temptations have the power to... 